Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari 2600 mm -hmm. and 7800 games. Mm -hmm. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome, cat. Welcome, cats. One cat. Welcome, ran Atari. Off. Uh, they were fighting, but now one yeah. has run off. Yeah. Welcome to the show. Yeah. Uh, tonight we have three and a half games. Three and a half. Yeah. Three 7800 games, and we have an exclusive bonus preview of Andrew Davies' new game. Cool. Yes. Preview, Very. playable preview, no. or just like, here's what Sneak it looks like. Sneak preview, non-playable. Nice. You can move around. Okay. You can see things. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Um, cool. He's been posting in the forums, but we get to try it out with a joystick. Yay. Move around and stuff. So that's exciting. Mm-hmm. Um, Hey, Miss Thank Command. Thank you, Miss Command, thank for resubbing. And also, just before the show started, thank you, D-Train, for subscribing. Yes. 20 months. Ooh. Thank you so much. Graphical Feast is an understatement. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Yes. It's crazy. Uh, the three 7800 games we're playing tonight. Mm -hmm. One is a brand new game by VHZC. Awesome. Also designed this t-shirt. Awesome. Uh, it is Ninjish Guy. He returns. Yay, But Ninja's in 7800 form. Woo. It's Ninjish Guy on Perilous Island. There's no on, but it makes sense that way. Gotcha. Ninjish Guy, Perilous Island. Gotcha. Uh, it's like the Perilous Island chapter of Ninjish Guy. Yeah, more like Ninja that. Ninjish Guy. Like colon, but he doesn't have a colon either. So. Perilous Island. Makes hard to digest nice. things. Uh, <laughs> Wasp by Mark Ball. Uh, it's from 2009. Okay. Um, so we're going back. And another one, Back in Time, Serious. And this is the companion game to Pluto's. Okay. Uh, it is cool. unbelievably brutally hard. Okay. I, I so think I, I remember you mentioning that. I tried it today and yeah. good luck to us. Still, it's still brutally hard? It's unbelievably brutally hard nice. so we'll see how far we can get not far okay so we'll try we'll try i want to thank the twitch subscribers for supporting the show 8 bit swami al nafur arms guard coder atari age br pocog buck owens cafe man 2d catalogs charles and check charles we learned chive coconut dan danny vc drexel fabby is great offender ground trooper jetic high john dwc one you're out of carl g kev kelly crocko mark space inc metal tar mcmuse mike soul mr zonor mr fix money funkster back grab vg coag rc70 render goes repentless vg smitty b soccer t spice where s mirrors the welsh welsh man tiki dan k tm events track md so fast serious you can't be serious <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I suck at serious as well and can't get that far. I think everybody sucks at serious because it's brutal. Mm. <laughs> brutal. Yeah. Reminds me of the Micro Machine guy. Yeah. All you have to do is start the next word before you finish the one you're on and you're, you're good to go. You're good to go. Yeah. Uh, if you want to get your name on there or your name was on there and now it's not on there, just uh, resubscribe. And uh, you can do it for free with Amazon Prime. So link those up and get your name on there. I think I'm support missing. The show. Am I missing? I yeah, am. you, you oh, don't no. support the show at all. <laughs> what oh, is no. going on? Uh, See, problem. Yeah, I'm the problem child here. Yeah. So. <laughs> okay. Um, we have some mail. Nothing to do with video games, but uh, it is, what, what excitement? Uh, it is electronics. So, Ooh, you know. is it? Uh, Tangentially related to streaming? Maybe. <laughs> it might work with streaming. We'll see. Okay. If, if it does, then it'll be good. Okay. Um, we'll it is something electronic. We'll see how it interfaces. I saw this go through because we use one Amazon account. I had no friggin' clue what this was. <laughs> I, I, I looked at it and went, oh, James bought something. <laughs> it's got some numbers and some letters. Uh, yeah, and yeah, and I looked at the photo of it and went, no, says, still no idea. It says studio <laughs> no on idea. it. Yeah, it says studio on it. It is the PreSonus Studio 24C. Okay. Um, what it does in basic terms is converts... A microphone into digital audio it's an it's an external audio card okay pretty much in, an, okay. in a box okay connects through USB C okay um, takes XLR uh, quarter inch anything else you want to adapt to that input and why would you want something like that rather than using the sound card on your computer or very good question yeah uh, the sound <laughs> card on your computer uh, usually if you have it built in on yeah. the motherboard is garbage to begin okay, with. Okay, yeah. Secondary, there's a lot of electrical interference that can be picked up by the card. Okay. So the noise floor is very high. There might be pops, crackles. And is that because it's on the motherboard rather yeah. than having it separate? Okay, yes, yeah. because yeah. it's all 
connected through one power source. So you, you can keep it kind of Yeah, this distance. is separate gotcha. all by itself. It's got its own power. Nice. It's, you know. So this is the one I have right now. M-Audio looks pretty much the same. Two inputs, yep. dials, knobs. This was made a long time ago and surprise, surprise, no drivers for Windows 10. I've in installed the drivers for Windows 7. Okay. And it kind of works. Sort of. It's kludgy. <laughs> it crashes. Yes. It's tear. Like, it was good in its day, but Not if there's anymore. no drivers, you're, well, you're hooped. That's, that's, it doesn't work. That's the annoying thing about so much technology is they just... Those companies just go, and eh, we're not going to support this anymore. Yeah, and you're like, why would it they? still functions. They want you to buy the new one. I know, but right? it's still a functional piece of equipment. And it especially does. equipment that really, ha the technology itself probably hasn't no, the same. made leaps and bounds and changes it's or improvements. Great sample rate. It's probably the exact same sample rate yeah. as this. I'd, we need we I'd need more people making like open source drivers for these. these. I, no. I, I don't even know if you can. Like, yes, I don't ask me, but. You can. That but, is the world of Linux. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. And I'm like, sure that old one works just fine under Linux. Okay, but I see. But Windows is a different beast. It, it is. They yeah. you, you have to develop the drivers for Lin for Windows, and, and Linux is more a community-based thing, so they yeah. they put more into it. Yeah. Um, I, but it has to be a very popular device as well because it has to have mass, you know, appeal, so that enough people go, yeah, we want this driver, and one of those people or more say. I can make that driver, yeah. etc. Yeah. Well, it's a form of forced obsolescence, and um, yes, I did a post in the entire age forums yeah, about that today. It's so annoying it, because in yeah. the news right now is uh, right to repair legislation yes. going through in yeah. various places, which is great. It's great, yeah. So if something breaks on your device, you can upgrade it without fear. You can take it to a store without them getting shut down. Yeah. Et cetera, et cetera, yeah. et cetera. Anyway, Which is good. It is good. I agree with that. Uh, let's get to Andrew Davies' game uh, called When Hop, The Search for Planet X. This game is full of memes, so get ready. Uh, it's already started, When Hop. That's when like, Hop? Okay. Um, that is uh, looking up on the Urban Dictionary. Okay. Uh, most often used as a single word question sentence in the context of an upcoming anticipated launch of a flying machine, especially a rocket. The questioner is impatient and the launch cannot com come soon enough. Okay. This is all uh, Elon Musk uh, oh. memes. This game is really full of, yes. So Elon Musk memes? <laughs> yes. Okay. So, the description. When hop, the search for Planet X. You're the very, very famous and dashingly handsome spaceman explorer all-around good guy, Melon Husk. Uh, to save humanity from the great filter that you fear is coming soon, AI, uh, or other things, um, alien life forms? I think it's AI he's referring to there. Uh, you're on a mission to find Planet X so you can establish a new human colony and safeguard the future of humankind. Well, we're the ones developing AI, so I'm not sure. It's probably aliens, maybe. Or, oh, the, the great, great filter, filter in terms of, like, just extinction events. So we have to split humanity onto different planets and different solar systems. Gotcha. So we have a higher chance of survival. Oh, maybe. And uh, now I get Melanus's name. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense now. <laughs> um, using your trusty rocket ship, uh, inspirationally named Ship, uh, <laughs> you're on a mission to visit the moons, planets, and asteroids of the solar system to find the, that elusive new home. Your goal is at each stop to mine enough Dogecoin, yes, in the form of actual physical coins. Nice. That's another meme, Dogecoin. Mm. Um, uh, enable you to buy enough rocket fuel to continue your quest. Mm. Getting the Dogecoins would be a matter of solving puzzles and avoiding aliens on the planet. Okay. It's going to be very much an action puzzler. Uh, mm. Each planet location has its own gravity. Uh, terrain will have different characteristics, for example, friction on a nice planet. Underwater swimming. I hope to spend some considerable effort on variations in controls. The terrain is fully navigable. Navigable? Navigable? That's the word. The terrain right? is fully navigable. Yeah. Navigable on a per pixel basis <laughs> rather than character graphics. That is, Husk's movement is freeform over the ca char character. I never character? really knew how to pronounce the care. The 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 shortened char? version of character. character. 
because it's the char. Care. I would almost say care just because it's a shortened version care. of character. But that, the care background, but it doesn't but quite make sense. But it out loud, doesn't, it's like care? Care what? Yeah. Is it supposed to be pronounced do, I looked it up. Coin? It's do, Doge. Doge. Okay. Doge coin. There you go. Yeah. Something it today. looks like it's going to be doggy coin. <laughs> well, doggy coin, it would be funnier. <laughs> or, or dodgy coin. Dodgy coin. I like Doge. dodgy coin. They're all dodgy coins. As far <laughs> as I'm dodgy. concerned, they're all yeah, dodgy. They are. <laughs> you cannot count on them. No. <laughs> to the moon. Uh, uh, you cannot dig underground, but you can follow existing passages, and of course, you can use tools. You'll be able to pick up and drop some objects, such as explosives and rocks. Use the rocks to allow you to reach stuff or to drop on enemies or block off exits. Use explosives to open up new passages. Underground, you can crawl along diagonal passages. You cannot move up because there's gravity. Hmm. Uh, you have to jump or climb. There may even be some alien superstructure buildings. Maybe you can even go inside for a sub-level on the planet. Whatever I can implement. Maybe a rocket pack. <laughs> <laughs> At the start of the... Uh, at the moment, the player sprite is just there to allow <clears throat> me to scroll around. It is not coupled to the background. That will come soon. At the start of each planet, I plan to have a big animating ship nice. character graphics landing you on the planet. I'm Out comes Spaceman thing. Husk, yep. and then you're in control. Nice. You try to collect the Dogecoin, Dogecoin by moving through the underground passages and using the tools explosive when necessary to get access. Once you get enough Dogecoin, you go back to the ship and it lifts off huge animation for the next adventure. Um, so let's, uh, as I don't think we need to, oh, there you go. There's some memes for you. Wow. So various, such example. Wow. So much blast, such first, so much object, such matter, <laughs> very necessary. So physical, such space, man. Nice. Cheese factor 10. <laughs> <laughs> so we, uh, have some binaries to take a look at oh, nice. exclusively nice, nice, nice. on the show. Um, I don't want to give away too much but uh i've had some behind the scenes access for a long time to oh, this really? to the, <laughs> this infrastructure that's been happening it's been just really cool mind-blowing oh yeah yeah <laughs> just mind-blowing you seem very excited to show it so. oh yeah it's <laughs> it's crazy that's awesome uh let's see if we're on the right one yeah okay so uh is this right yep Let's go full screen on this. Then I can switch over. Just ignore the ninja guy there. <laughs> okay. This is an example of his rockets. <laughs> uh, that's an exaggeration of somebody else's rocket. I know, I was going to say. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so that's your rocket on the right there. Look and the that's way. the enemy rocket. They look quite impressive, the, I have right to say. These are done purely by Playfield. <laughs> so the whole screen is drawn by Playfield. Um, and it's it's an extension of his uh, chrono color, if I'm saying that correctly. Mm. Um, uh, chrono color sprite system that he's developing, which those are termed sprites, right? Mm. And they're drawn with Playfield. So the one, the smaller rocket is drawn with a i did note it down uh six play field pixels across because mm. play field pixels are wide four you know Five. character pixels yeah. i guess mm -hmm. um and the bigger one is drawn with 15 player uh play field pixels wide and you can see that they are overlapping mm. they're independent and they're they're they they act like sprites yeah, yeah, but they're drawn completely with Playfield, oh. and the chrono color is used as uh, every three is a pixel, every three vertical, mm -hmm. um, and it's drawn with a line of color, line of color, line of color, and you can see he's using pink, blue, and another green. blue, and green? green. It looks like green. Green and me. blue. Yeah. I, I if I look when it stops, it looks like green blue, and orange. And pink. Green, blue, and pink. So and then there's there there are yeah I see green, so blue, and pink. Kind of what do you see when you look? At well, and orange, <laughs> and orange on the bottom. On the bottom, yeah. And yellow, so I he can yellow. change uh, in the fire. I it's don't think so. If it stops, there's no yellow. I think it's just the the perception. Mm, it's very different. It's no, the no, perception no. of the green and the orange. Mm, nope. 
No. No, I disagree. Oh, the pause makes it dark. I disagree. You can see in the top there's like green. Yeah. Blue. Pink. You go down, 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 down. Orange, which is actually there's orange, orange at the top. I don't think there's yellow though. I think the yellow and green blend oh, to make a, a yellow. That's one line. That is yellow. Isn't right no, there. What are you talking about? <laughs> I don't see yellow. It's no. There's no yellow. Blue, blue, green, pink, mustard, and then orange. <laughs> what are you? T no, there isn't. That, that, that one right green, above that. Oh, orange. That, that's green. That's orange. What's that? Green. And what's that? Yellow. Green. Oh, you're crazy. There's no yellow. I don't know why you're. <laughs> <laughs> There's only three colors. Only three colors? It looks like yellow when the green and, and orange are moving. It's. I think it's just an illusion. I, I'm going to have to dispute there's only no, three colors. No, no, no. Because there is definitely green, I, the, blue, the chat, and pink. The chat is on my side. Look at that orange at the bottom. It's orange. And then there's green, blue, and pink as well. Green, blue, and pink. Okay, there's yes. at least four. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. She is right. It is green. <laughs> I Lies. see the fire is orange and yellow. Lies. I think it's the green. I don't think there's actually yellow though. I think it's I think it's a visual illusion when the green mm. and orange are, are I'm flashing. I'm gonna look at it after with Photoshop. And <laughs> move my mouse over and do a, a color identification code. <laughs> this week on Zero Page Home, where James and Tanya get an argument over, <laughs> over a, a pixel. pixel. <laughs> crossbow agrees. Thank yeah. you, Crossbow. Um, <laughs> Andrew Davies says, I would like to credit and thank Jet Set Illy for his amazing help with Gopher 2600 emulator, which is like Stella, different emulator, which is a particularly stunning piece of work. It has helped me find many significant bugs in this engine and also adjust the timings. Um, so let's go to the next example. And I'm going to get you to move around the world in this okay. one. <gasps> Look at that. Did you check out the opening? screen there yeah the circle nice okay. so what am i doing just moving moving around checking out things left oh so don't go too fast because you actually go off the screen so you can see the oh, nothing me, kills me though me i just i just move yeah yeah okay you, good good it's mostly like a there's no up and a down cursor. Oh, yes there is what's going on i stopped how good you keep our way oh i see yeah yeah maybe Maybe. Just kind of hold it to the side. Yeah, um, there we go. So here's some notes on this. Oh, now I'm going over. Yeah. Causing don't problems. Don't go too far. Uh, note number one. Uh, the drill will be attached to your ship. So there's the drill. Yeah. There's a drill there's going a ship? down. There's a ship. <gasps> That's the enemy ship. Wow. Go to the ship. Into the ship. There you or... go. No, just look at it. I can't stop he he has like um he has momentum he's he has slidey. momentum okay uh you enter the ship by pressing up when near it none of this works so don't bother um then you press and hold up to thrust and launch uh or press left to deploy the dr de deploy drill left and right to deploy drill right gotcha those are elevators elevators okay yep uh once deployed uh up and down will drill there is there is no audio oh here Oh, 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 yeah, there is audio. Sorry. Tiny bits, tiny bits. Oh, because oh, I clicked somewhere. Oh. Too. I was adjusting the audio. Yeah. Try it down. Yeah. There. Okay. Uh, when drill. flying, you can go up off the screen, level complete, or you can go left to right. And of course, toggle up as you desire uh, to maintain an altitude and thrust. So it's sort of a lunar lander inbuilt game, too. You'll need to land on semi-flat areas to avoid the massive RUD, a rapid unscheduled destruction. <laughs> As to flying, this requires Dogecoin, of course. Fortunately, your ship is able to use Dogecoin directly in its paper fly engine. Are, are these so those the Dogecoin? Doge co Dogecoins there, the yeah. spinning coins, yeah. Nice. Oh, I turned us down. Check, check, check. See, I turned down the wrong one. Sorry, sorry, sorry. There we go. Excellent. Is there a bang command to signal audio loss? There yeah. should be. <laughs> should fly all over the screen and give us noises. And... We need to give you like a, um, we need to give them an icon yes. that's like audio. 
problem, problem, problem with stream. <laughs> Not just general problem yeah. with stream, and then I can look. Yeah, it's like, what? What's going on? Need to install on? the new audio gear. That would not help the problem. <laughs> um, as to flying this for cards, Dogecoin, of course. Fortunately, your ship is able to use Dogecoin as... Did you and it's, click away? Uh, no, I did not. Are you sure? Try it now. There we go. He did. He did. So you'll only be able to fly when and if you've collected enough coins. So you have to find enough coins on each level. Nice. If you drill through the do doge rocks, they change to doge coins. Nice. Then when there are enough doge coins and, and of course enough passages, which you'll have to make with the drill too, you undeploy the drill, press down to get out of the ship, and then go climbing around underground. Hmm. You may have a few explosives with you, so you can also blast passages for you to move through. There will be diagonal movement, jumping, different gravity, Did I lose uh, myself? falling to death, climbing walls, and whatever else I can think of. So you can see water as well. Mm -hmm. The water is going up. So there's water elements that overlay on top. That's really Isn't that cool. Unbelievable. That's really cool. And waves. Yeah. And it's all done with Playfield. Check this out. Oh, stop. Here. Except for the character. Everything's Playfield wow. except for the character. Wow. And if you look at the character, he is a little familiar with his hair. Yeah. A little Something bit. about the floppy blonde hair, right? Eh? <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> it might be. Um, iconic, iconic. <laughs> there's a oh, it's still going up. Oh, the yeah. water's going up. Look it's at that. It's going to drown you. There's a hint of an arch cool. nemesis, Pirate Dozoff. We'll see if he becomes evil and an issue. Okay, so there's another level. Okay. Here, I'll let you. Nope. Oh. This one has earthquakes. Oh, my. So it shakes the whole screen. So stop moving. Stop moving. Look at that! Isn't that amazing? That's very cool. Uh, you'll notice I've animated the ship's ball doges. If you go see the ship. In no. this in this one? Uh, yeah. They, they go... Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> 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 They're crazy. Go down. Show them. <laughs> they shake around when they take off. <laughs> they are very funny animations. Oh my... Known in this industry as the ship's balls, for short. <laughs> really? <laughs> There's a lot of comments about uh, um, uh, Jeff Bezos' uh, rocket. Oh, God, that rocket. Yeah. Come on. Um, they These hold the doge coins you collect and feed them to the engine by shaking them when in flight. They shake all the doge coins. Oh. Solid fuel booster balls. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Oh yes, we'll get to the three layers of of movement. It's okay. crazy. You can see the things in the background. Yes. Parallax the drill, Parallax the Playfield coin. scrolling with a ship overlay. It's it's mind blowing. This might be a bit loud. Let me turn it down. Um No. Oh, sorry. It's okay. Messed up. It's okay. Can Take in all the ball shaking that's going on well, on the screen. Um, so when you're flying high, your doge balls are in action. These are actually <laughs> implemented as separate sprites. The ship is four sprites, the base ship itself, and two ball doges and the flag. The ball doges will change in size depending on how much doge coin they're holding. So you'll see your doge balls shrinking if you spend too much time goofing around. Uh -uh. If your balls shrink to nothing, you're dead as a dodo. I'm thinking that you don't actually get true credit for the dogecoin you collect until you actually return to the ship and fill the ball doges with your, with your loot, which makes sense. They should go ding, 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 ding. That'd be hilarious. So it'll be a balance between banking coin and available time to collect, complete a level. So there's lava coming up down there. Nice. Uh, of course, like with everything, too much of a good thing and you might, might bust your doge balls. So... Here are all the um, features of this game. As long as it's the balls that are increasing in size is all I'm yeah. going to say. <laughs> Here's the features. Color overload. <laughs> Large play... Sorry. <laughs> Large play field graphic software sprites. 60 hertz frame rate. Mm -hmm. 80 by 22 board to play on. Uh, drill goes to boulder, goes to dogecoin. Uh, alien egg and grubs. So those are the. I think those are the alien eggs. Oh, those I see the, the blue. No, over. Oh. You're just on top of them. Those things. Ah, 
the leggies, I think. Blue? Squirmy egg grubs. Those? Uh, not sure what those will do yet. Spaceship, of course. Super colorful player sprite, about 50 frames of animation. Right now he's stuck in a, oh my god, everything's exploding loop. Ah. Yeah. But he's got so many frames of animation. I've, I've seen him in, it, in other builds of this. Oh, I can imagine. Like, he's got like, uh, holy he's got like this. Really? He's like this. And he's got sunglasses. <laughs> oh, I love it. It's lots I and lots of it. stuff. I love it. That's so good. Um, no digging underground. Drilling via ship and blasting. Carried explosives. Merged rocks form clearly defined passageways. He's angry he has to get up for reset the game. Um... <laughs> Earthquakes. Earthquakes come in form of explosions, doge rocks being drilled, and ship launches. Earthquakes shake rocks off their edges, also cause the ground to disintegrate. So see, expect lots of action happening on the screen during an earthquake. Lava causes earthquakes too. Water and lava definitely show earlier videos. Yeah, so you can see these, the lava on this one. Upscalers and downscalers, and I think you saw that in the other level, mm. where they're moving up and down. Parallax scroll background layer. So you can see the parallax. I mean, everything's shaking. It's crazy. Yeah. Um, it is parallax. Wow, look at that. Yeah. Very nice. Uh, circular fade and wipe. This is a fun challenge, yet so brief it's easier to overlook. So you can see it here. It's a much more calm level. Um, uh, drips of water underground. See if you can find a dripping Oh, yeah. Water. Tons. There's tons. Um... Where was it? By the, um... This may be randomly generated. Uh, I don't know. There. Oh. Ah, stop it. Is it there? Oh. Oh. No. Oh. All turned into coins. Yay, the drill, give me the coins! The drill just drilled it out. Oh, there! There. There, you can see the dripping there. So, hold still the for a second. Yeah. Maybe I have to move. Oh, above. Oh, there was some. Oh, the boulder just fell down. Oh, there, there it is. There's the drip. Yeah, Very fair. nice. Uh, okay, okay, my, but my, minor but atmosphere. <laughs> And of course, pebbles scattered throughout the dirt. Uh, and if you notice, the colors is very dig dug. It is. The gradiated colors yeah, going I like up and that. down. Yeah, I that. Yeah. Crossbow says this might be the first 2600 game that will require a seizure warning. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, it's definitely, definitely needs one. There's, there's been other 2600 games yeah. that are just like, oh my god. This, but this one with the earthquakes. Whew. Uh, boulder falling logic is odd. Please ignore the mechanics. Fixing that mm. soon. I put in two levels, one with water, one with lava. Uh, hold the select switch to get to the next level. The lava, lava level has earthquakes. So those are the um, elevators going up and down. Go to the left, please. Elevators going up and down. Because it has gravity, those will lift you up out and take oh, you down, I see. right? Gotcha. Um, let's see. And that's, that's pretty much that's it. It's pretty impressive. It looks really good. It's, it's just unbelievable looking. There's the countdown timer. It's T minus seven seconds, which is kind of cool. Five, four, three, three, two. So you can see the parallel. Oh, there's the ship. Get to the ship. No, you can't get in the ship yet. But you can see. Oh, look at him. Doge balls vibrating as it takes off. Watch mm -hmm. as it takes off. Watch. <laughs> and it lands again. And it calms down. It calms down. Slowly vibrates. Oh my! <laughs> Silly, but funny <laughs> as hell. Yeah. Um, um, nostalgic said this will definitely be an after dark game. <laughs> That's right. Yep. <sighs> Adults only. I'll have to check your ID at the door. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, so really, really cool. And he's like, he has used this Chrono Color in a number of others of, mm. of, of his games. Um, but this one is taking it to the whole other level yeah. because he's using, using CDFJ. Um, so he's got using the arm processor. That's why he can do a million things at once yeah. on the screen yeah. and pretty much do anything he wants mm -hmm. on the screen using play field with all the colors. It's just unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Um, a little bit like a dune ornithopter. Yeah. I don't know about it. I don't know what the dune ones are. Have you seen Oh, I haven't seen that movie in a long time. Yeah. I, I haven't read the book. I know what an so. ornithopter is. Isn't that the spinning spiral helicopter? Oh, yes. Yeah. That was made by uh, 
That guy a long time ago. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so a couple days ago, I ordered a... Oh, yes. This was this was a big deal. Yes. I've been waiting for... Big, big, big deal. Lots of months. And like they had a... Fur, it's a Retro Tank 5X made by Retro Tank. Yeah. They've, they've made other stuff like um, other Retro Tanks. Mm -hmm. uh, like the 2X Pro, SCART. And it's like, well, that one does SCART. That one does, you know, uh, com component and composite, I guess. Mm -hmm. But this one does it all. Everything. All of it. Mm -hmm. So it's got SCART. It's got component. It's got S video. It's got composite. Um, and it's supposed to be just unbelievable for upscaling. Mm. And especially for the 2600. Because somebody with a 2600 has tested it out mm -hmm. with um challenging games that have a lot of uh flicker and bad line counts and it doesn't drop out just kind of vibrates a bit like that's the best you're going to get really mm. um and it and it performs amazingly, amazingly. like good. just destroys the frame meister good yeah so that's on its way good and it'll be replacing the frame meister and soon enough it sold out in like minutes didn't oh, it oh very very quick yeah. i didn't monitor it but it was Super it was fast. very fast, yeah. uh, judging by the comments. Mm. Um, so I'm really looking forward to getting that and not having to wait 10 seconds between switching on switching the game. Switching things and, off. Yes. Yeah, and on again. And uh, triple buffer mode, yes. One frame a lag. Uh, we'll see how it is. Yeah. 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 Mm. Probably worth it. One frame, I'm not... It depends on the game, really. Most games, you probably wouldn't notice it mm. if you're playing like a, a Twitch-type game. Uh, probably like a street fighter you're probably going to be in trouble oh because you see. have to react really instantly. quickly yeah. yeah um so that is cool is so i'm looking forward to that mm -hmm. um so dave m posted in the forums for mr yo-yo he says it looks like we're still on target for a fall 2021 release in the atari age store I last talked to Albert a couple weeks ago, and he said he'd like to connect me to an artist that will take care of the box manual labels. Um, so that is coming out in tw in later this year, and I've started a sheet of what's coming out so far that I know of in fall. Excellent. If everything goes Upcoming. to plan. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Yo-Yo, Robot 2684, nice. and Spies in the Night 2. Wow. Uh, through Neo Games and then Unlimited after that. Limited through Neo Games and Unlimited uh, through Atari Age after that. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, Bob DeCrescenzo posted on Sunday about the 7800 BIOS update. That includes Kiloparsec. Said, sorry about the lack of, up of postings on this. I believe that everything is done for the BIOS, the game and BIOS itself. We've tested on everything we have, but I'm always nervous about that one 7800 and odd game that might cause an issue. So is this is this the cavern that kills you? Yes. Yes, that game. that's what that game. It doesn't kill you anymore. <laughs> good, good, good. So if everyone understands that we've tested this a lot, even the new ARM 2600 games will now work with the PAL 7800 BIOS. I think it's ready to use and I have it in both of my 7800s. One thing to note, the BIOS itself is open source, although the game is not. Please do not extract the game from BIOS. I really don't want to see anyone on eBay selling this game. Yeah. And then he updated me today about this. Uh, he said that the new 7800 BIOSes uh, are ready and plans are in the works of how they will be offered. Mm. So he's working on that right now. And they'll be available soon. Mm. So stay tuned for that. Um, I don't know if they'll be offered separately. So you can buy them, put them in yourselves. Um along with him doing installs or he will only do installs at first not sure we'll see um there he is right there wink wink <laughs> <laughs> so let's get to the games which is why everyone's here and, and pixel showed back up too so good kitty yeah stay right where you are and we're gonna start Sweet. it off with vhzc's game ninja sky <laughs> Perilous Island. <laughs> no and, no on, well, it's no like colon. Survivor Australia. <laughs> That's right. Ninja Sky. Perilous Island. Perilous Island. It's dramatic. Just say it dramatically. Okay, so there we are. Uh, 
me make sure I've got volume there. Not messing that up. Get rid of desktop audio. I think we're good. Jump right into it. So there is your downed helicopter from Peril. Nice. That's why it's called Perilous uh, Island. <laughs> Funny. Isn't that where they train the Marines? Perilous Island? Oh, I don't know. Oh, can't Sad go death. that way. Sad death. No, uh, it's got spikes on it. You can try it out if you like. So you can jump, you can duck, you can slide, just like in the other one. So there's a great, great there. Very nice title screen, yep. A little shooty plant, a little spiky, ah. sneaky thing. Ah. <laughs> what are you doing? I tried. I was trying to get up there, but maybe I... Oh, well, there's nothing up there, but... Ah. Ah. Oh, <laughs> this no. is not good. Uh, oh my we posted God. this on uh, first on July 23rd. This one is from yesterday, this build. It's a 144K oh game. Oh gosh, that's not what I wanted to do. It says, hi guys, I wanted to share my new project, Ninjish Guys 7800 Perilous Island. I just started a week or so ago and I wrote a new improved version of my Night Guy engine for it. Uh, it's, a, it's in a really early stage of a development, but it, here's a playable demo if somebody wants to test it. Since I have no Dragonfly or similar, I've only tested on an A700 emulator, so it could be contain so it could contain some nasty bugs. Very surprising <laughs> that um, Vladimir doesn't have Dragonfly. Yet he's able to make these amazing games just with an emulator. Um, so update since the first binary corrected some timing issues on the game over screen and title screen. Uh, correct some misplaced collision boxes on the vine climbing screen, new title screen, some jump changes in jump and gravity. Is this an Atari 2609 game? 2600. It's a 7800 game. It's uh, 7800 day today. Nope. You can't nope. kill it. Okay. Nope. Good to nope. know. He's poisonous. Deadly. Um, he said, by the way, all the enemies, current enemies can be killed with shurikens, <laughs> but none of, some of them need more shots. Oh, God. This is not going well. Nice game over screen. I know, it's great. Oh, did I turn down the volume? Uh, yeah, I don't hear anything, so... Is there there's any a, volume? There's a death... Oh, is there a death I, oh, noise? Oh, it's this. Oh. That's why. We don't hear it. Yeah, we don't hear it. They did. Because I saw them hear it. Oh my god. I just don't get right to the edge. Uh, Metal Lunar says, that was very entertaining to watch. <laughs> Um, and he says the running enemy can also be stomped on like in the original ninja guy. So another plant, some spikes, a vine. Hmm. If you look very closely above you, there's something up there. I see it. Do you? I don't know how to get up there. Oh, I kind of do. Yeah. I assume you can jump, but... No, you can't. <laughs> no, can't jump up off a vine, because you're hanging oh, I see. by it. There you go. Thank I God. accidentally discovered that. Oh, I, did you? I didn't even see the heart till I accidentally landed on that by, by pressing right from that vine accidentally one time. Yay! <clears throat> Beautiful graphics. Great animation of the water. <laughs> <laughs> and I love how the fish splashes into the water when it lands. It's a very Mario kind of um, enemy. Oh, shoot. Fish jumping. Because there are fish jumping in Mario. Oh, I'm just not far enough over! You have to get close to that one. Oh, for... Mm. There okay. it is. Do you want to turn? Uh, no, you should play it again. Because okay. I can complete this in one go. Oh, can go. you? <laughs> go, yeah. You've played it enough now? Yeah, I played through all the iterations and helped you know help well find enough. some yeah. issues. Okay, I'll, I'll play it after you play it one more okay. time. Metal Lunar says, love the smooth water animation. The flying fish are cool. They have big teeth. Yes. Do not mess with them. 
fish are mean looking. They will bite you. Oh, it's I, I find his games, they are on a pixel's breath. Like uh, You get a little You get better bit. as you do them. Yeah, but, the, but you, you don't get much room there. Uh, the, yeah, it's like I move too because fast. Because there's an arc. So you, you're no, you move really quickly in that arc, though. Oh, okay. That's what I mean. Like, uh, I think you can jump and then move. You can, but I don't know why I'm having such trouble here. Oh, see, now, now, because I kept running into it. You're messed up. I messed up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just losing lives everywhere here. There we go. Get a life. Get extra life. Yep. I need it. Yeah. Down to the last one. And he's uh, brought over some things from previous games. Oh, he Spiky always balls. has a little bit of... And the spikes on the ground, too. Paranoid. <laughs> yeah, I am really paranoid now. Oh, the fishes. The fishes. Splash. And he goes, jump, 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 jump. He has animation in his mouth. Spike and fish. Oh, this is the problem I had last time. There, there you go. go. A nice combo, the vine and the fish. Oh, I don't like this guy. Watch for the pause. I know, but still. Jump when he's coming back at you. Jump! Oh, oh. oh I can jump again. Yeah. I'm going to be right. Okay, bye bye. Yeah, I'll be right back. I'm going to play the whole thing while you're away. No! I'll just uh, show some fun things. So you can't get past uh, this way. And you can't hop on the, on the, on the helicopter. Because it's, it, it's done. Um, I'll show you the fun thing here. One time, and one time only, when I was playing this in the emulator, a uh, browser emulator, I went this way, and then back... And the gates were open. But I was never able to replicate it ever again. And that was on an older version, so it may not even... And, and I was able to go down and complete the game. <laughs> and I don't know what I did or what pattern. But that was the thing I did. I went this way. I didn't report it because I couldn't replicate it and I didn't record it. So I was like, well, okay. Thanks for the info. <laughs> and, I, and I swear I just went down. I didn't go over top. It might have got patched, but not intentionally patched. Or he knew. But I, I have the build that it wasn't patched on. Okay, I'm going to get all my lives back. Cause what happened? Oh, nothing. I was just playing around. Oh. Nice. I love that. That's a great death screen. <laughs> it is. So, hop over the spikes. Mm -hmm. Hop over the fire. Down. You can go up. And uh, that's what I was doing, but... You don't need to. He's not... You can duck his shots, so it wasn't too ah. bad. Hi, cat. Oh, you do have to jump off that. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh. You just have to go to the top. Yeah. That's ah, what I did. You keep I, pressing. I just fell, yeah. Because you can't jump off of it. I can. Hi, what are you doing? Running around? He looks really excited all of a sudden. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Those are high spikes. They are very high. high spikes. You have to be very careful. Um, this is all just timing of his, his oh yeah. bounces. You just wait till he gets to the middle and jump over. He does the first over. bounce, yeah. Watch no this. Um, I'll wait till he comes back out again. Poof. Yeah, I saw that. That happened to me because <laughs> I killed myself as he was coming oh. towards me. That's funny. That's, yeah, I like the that. The spikes kill the That's fish, too. That's a very VHZC thing, though. I've seen that in, in his other um, oh, games. Oh, the other enemies die when yeah. you die? Yeah. They kind of disappear and restart. It's a figment of your imagination. Yeah, then. yeah. No, it's all in your head. The plant reminds me of pea shooters from Plant v. Zombies. That might have been where he might have gotten a bit of inspiration from that. Because so, they do look like the, the pea shooters. Another VHZC thing? Yep. Timing of something moving? Yep, through levels and platforms. Yep. It's great. Oh, oh. A little purple oh. monster down there. It's very Sweet. square teeth. And a button. Mm -hmm. Disappearing platform. With a spiky pit. More timings. A very spiky pit. Oh, 
Nice. Well, I know how to play the game. So, I know all the timings. You just jump over. Ah, ooh. And, You're as shirking? per usual, a dead end with a weapon. Nice. So you get ten of them. And, and get free more. refills! Nice! Unlimited free refills! Woo! Nothing to uh, shoot on this level, though. Instead of the giant purple pe people eater, that was the small purple people eater. That's right. Maybe the big one will be later. <gasps> Kill him. Get him. Pew. Oh, he looked like a really angry and gingerbread man. He comes man. back. Pew. Angry gingerbread man. He is man. very angry. Nice. And there's another exit over here. <gasps> Ooh. As per usual, he reuses his levels. Yes, I love floors. that. I love that. Well, it also tells you how to get to where we're going. So. That's right. It's like, oh, something's there. Yeah. I have to go find it. I have it. to go. Ooh, a door has opened somewhere. I love that. Yes. Love that. Bang, bang, bang. Bang, 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 bang. That, yeah. Does that guy come back again here? Yeah, he does. Hmm. Not going to get more shurikens? Uh, mm, no. Mm, you don't need them. Okay. Not right now. Not in this form of the game. Nice. I think I, you can shoot the fish. Um, I I'll try and shoot some other things. Fish take one shot. Mm. But they just come back, so it's not much point in shooting the fish. Ah! <gasps> Terrible. It's a pretty dangerous rock. I went through it the wrong direction. I'm supposed to go below. And I mm, went above. And was below like, is easier? No time. Yeah, it bang, goes bang, a little bang, higher. Bang, 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 bang. Ah. Can you kill that? No. Uh. No. No. Don't waste them. Oof, Oof. that was close. Ah! <gasps> You're the same speed as the fish, so. Just forget the fish is there, because there's a slight pause. It comes pause. every time. Except here. Nice. Doesn't venture too far up the stream. No, it doesn't get too close. Getting to more shurikens mean more dodging and timing. Yes. Mm. On one guy. You can visit that. You can't go swimming. No. Somebody made Does a comment in the Atari Age forums like, drowned. I tried to go in the water, but he drowned. <laughs> I thought it was like Night Guy. Um, but then VHZC said, well, in Night Guy, you actually have to get the special diving mm. helmet before you can go in the water. That's so, true. Not really the same. Nope. Nice. Mm -hmm. And another VHZC um, style is to traverse everything you've gone through again <laughs> backwards. Follow it back. Yeah. Oh, that's a lot of time. And the gate is now open. <gasps> Ooh, is, there, is that a ladder? End of demo! With the skull, the fire, fire skulls. Very nice. Showing the, the wall lit up in small portions to show that. darkness. Yeah, I Using love that. Using light to show darkness. Yes. Very, very clever. I like that a lot, yeah. And I throw my remaining shurikens. Yeah, it does look great, Carl G. Yeah. It's incredible. Whee! Okay. Did you want to play one more? No, Are you no, good? I'm good, I'm good. I saw you. Uh... So, very, very excellent start to mm -hmm. the game. Oh, you just missed it, VHNC. Hey! <laughs> we haven't found any more bugs, so that's good. Uh, just the jitteriness of his hands, you can see. But he doesn't know what that is yet. Oh, okay. So you can see it going... Brr, brr. Can you see it? He, sa he looks very anxious. Very anxious. He's very anxious. I gotta yeah. get to the end. Gotta get to the end of the demo. But everything plays... Yeah. Everything else plays Can you perfectly. shoot? Oh, use your shurikens. Yeah. Yeah. Looks great. I was gonna say, can you shoot those guys? Oh, the plants. Yeah. Good question. You don't have any. So. I don't have any right now. No. Um, hey. <laughs> and he explodes in a pile of mush. his clothing. His mush. 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 <laughs> nice. The jittery walking. <laughs> I'm nervous. I yeah, like very nice. Great animations and backgrounds. Yes. Nice title and, and end of demo screens. Excellent work. The jittery yes. walking. Yeah. Um, yeah, everything is beautiful. Yeah. And as per usual, it works right out of the gate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, almost no problems uh, with all of his games. So it's very hard to report issues to VHZC with his games. Mm -hmm. 
more like, here's an idea or <laughs> here's a question. That's yeah. about it. Um, excellent. Beautiful. Love it. Can't wait for more levels. Um, so let's get on to the next game. Uh, Wasp. And this is by Mark Ball, also known as Groovy Bee. Groovy Bee? Groovy Bee. Very nice. Going on the insect theme. Hi, kitty. The Atari is in, yeah, he's in the, in the camera. Is he? Yeah. Good kitty. He's looking at me like, where are the treats? Do you want treats? Oh, he's being bad. Uh-oh. I don't know why he does that. Oh, our screen is going. I know, it does that every time. You say that every time. <laughs> like it's a surprise. Well, no, it doesn't always do that. I mean, when I unplug it, it does. Yeah. Yeah. It's bad, but I know how to fix it, so. That's the good part. Mm. Yay. Now we're all dark. For some reason, we're dark. Crazy. I can't. It's haunted, yeah. It is haunted. Yeah, it is, uh. Possessed. The possessed camera. There we go. Wasp by Mark Ball. Atari 2600 dude says, is this an older title? Yes, it's quite a bit older. Like, beginnings of 7800 homebrew. Mm. Well, not that beginning. But 2009. I'm not sure when the first 7800 homebrew came out. But this is fairly early. Mm. Um, 12 years ago. So, uh, this 32k game, you can jump right into it. Um, pretty much collect all the mushrooms, okay. avoid the bees. Ah, the bees! That's all there is to it. No, don't need to go there. Ah, ah. So you have two lives, and you have a health meter, and when you get touched by a bee, your health meter goes down. When you get collect all the mushrooms, you go to the next level. Um, so, on the Atari Age Store listing, it says the Enchanted Lands Annual Mushroom Soup Festival... It's the Enchanted Lands Annual Sh Su Mushroom Soup Festival. While out in the woods collecting mushrooms, you stumble across a nest of giant killer wasps. With no giants to kill, <laughs> they make a wasp blind for you. That's f funny. Giant killer wasps? They kill giants. They're not giant themselves, even though they are. Well, no, they probably are giant, but anyway. And they kill giants. Uh, Wasp is Mark Ball's first foray into Atari 7800 programming and is, as far as we're aware, the first 7800 game written in C programming language. Wasp was originally written as a demo, but quickly evolved into a playable game. Oh, I died. That's what I got, too, when I saw this game. Robotron vibes. It's just... Oh, they move really the fast. The screen opening up, the amount of things moving around on the screen, um, the things you have to collect. I mean... In Robotron, you have to collect the people. This, you have to collect the mushrooms. Uh, your golem wasp is fairly simple. Collect as many mushrooms as you can while avoiding the angry wasps. How far, how long can you survive their flying wrath? So his post when he posted in 2009, first find attached my first homebrew called Wasp with the 7800. Now for the twist. It's actually written in C using the CC65 development system. Yes, I know it's April Fool's. I have no idea if it runs an acceptable C beat on a real machine, but it works fine in the 7800 Pro System emulator. If somebody with a, a CC2 could test it for me, that would be good. The game doesn't use any bank switching scheme or need any additional RAM. To play the game, you collect mushrooms and avoid the wasps. Apologies in advance for the programmer graphics. <laughs> oh, the graphics are fine. I think they're, they're cute. They're cute. Yeah. They remind me of an old arcade game. Ah! Yeah. Ah! Uh, play the game, you must collect the mushrooms and avoid the wasps. Uh, the core engine is written in 6502 assembler because that's where the speed is required. This allows C to be used to control the logic, structure, and flow of the game. <gasps> now, yes, Nostalgic points out that sometimes the wasps stop. Yeah, they do. They kind of get tired. I played this a bit today and I don't understand why they stop it must or be why kind they of go. Random. I think it is random. They tend to go right for you, right at the beginning. Yeah. And in a weird way, you have to kind of corral them. If you get yes. close to them, they wake up again, it seems. Uh, I don't think that... I, I thought that was it, but there's a bee wasp way up top, and then it just starts moving, and you didn't get close to it. 
But I think I think I think, I think it just makes their movement more random if they yes. occasionally stop. So as you try to kind of run around and corral them, they do spread out. Ah, ah! Which actually makes it harder. It does. It's it's really smart, actually. It you wouldn't it's really think smart. that making them stop would yeah. make the game harder, but they stop in an area when where there's mushrooms, maybe because I don't know. You're uh, almost dead. I know. Yeah, you have to corral them. You have to kind of like lead them around and then go get the mushroom. Problem, problem, problem. What? Oh, it's jittery. Is it? Again? Oh, weird. Okay. Go oh, the video. The, sorry, I just died now. That's fine. The gameplay video is frozen. Oh, not frozen. It's just. Pushes button to indicate problem. Oh, no. Try it now. Seems okay now. Can you try it now? Because I can't tell if it's not moving. No. Chunky. Chunky! Is it? Yep. It's 27 weird. and a half degrees in here. Well, that's true. Oh, it's going crazy again. Uh, yes, I know that. Every single time <laughs> I unplug but it. But I love, I love it. It's like, it's Are you like trying crazy. to annoy me? <laughs> it's like a disco ball going <laughs> off or something. Oh, look at the game over screen. I don't know if they can even see not, that. Not That's yet. a shame. Not yet. They will. It's a nice. Oh. Oh, now we're super overexposed. How weird. How weird. Can we play again see if it's fixed itself? Shame. I was, oh, it looks better. It's doing pretty well. Ah, ah. Thank you for the problem alert. Yeah, we do need a problem alert. The bad, to... the bad thing is that issues happen. The good thing is I know exactly how to solve them. <laughs> <laughs> that is a good thing. It's, it's nothing annoying. like an issue you don't know how to solve. Yes. I guess there's his grave at the end. Somebody give him some flowers. Or are they mushrooms? We'll have to check it out again. They're mushrooms. They look like flowers. Um... And so, and also for the Atari 7800's 25th birthday, uh, uh, 2009, uh, there was a limited run of 25 double homebrew packs with Wasp and Space Invaders VE, which is made by Pac-Man Plus, included. So this was released in uh, two separate formats, one in a double pack and one on its own. Yeah, you kind of have to wait for that Wasp to wake up. Well, it never did. Hmm. We need a panic button. Um, mm -hmm. I can substitute one of the one of the icons. Ah. I don't know if I've gotten any more icons. So you you need more. Five you of need them. an icon. Do you you just create them though, don't you? Yeah. So I could create a panic one and get rid of one of these, but yeah. Oh, you I only like get five? I think I only have five right oh, now no. total. I could go check. You could see if you have other slots. So any people can go panic, 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 panic. Yeah. Panic, 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 panic. <laughs> It was frozen. Weird. Because it didn't look frozen here. No, that's that's very odd. But I did see it all ch uh, chunky. It's gotten less bad once you noticed it. <laughs> Weird. Oh. Gameplay screen is frozen up. Huh, interesting. Video gameplay frozen. Weird. Some people said it was choppy, some people said it was frozen. Those two things are very different. <laughs> 10,000 points. Meh. Meh. Is it getting harder? I, I, I just... feel like they're faster, but... Oh! What was that? What was black it? Black bar. Oh. He ran through Broken. a black. Yeah. It's not perfect. Nope. Whoa! Ah. I like the flowers and the mushrooms. Yeah, there's two different colors flowers. There's purple and red. As far as I know, there's no extra lives, so you just keep draining and draining well, as you run through. I don't know if it gets through. harder, it just... Well, oh. I feel like if you get used to it, you could just play it forever. Yeah? They don't seem to get harder. It's not more mushrooms, they're, just, just, they're not placed differently. No, they no. are going faster. The... They seem to, but I don't know if they get that much faster. Not much faster. No. Oh, it was choppy as in one frame every few seconds for a while, which is pretty mm. much close to Frozen. Ah. It's like doing IT, right? Mm -hmm. Except on your own stuff. Like when people, I used to work in IT as a manager. Um, 
And people would phone in to go, they tell you things, but not quite right. Yeah. They go, I, cannot, I can't get my email. But okay. it wasn't true. It's like they're getting their email, but they're not getting some email from some people. Yeah. But they describe it as, I'm not getting my but email. But they don't know how to describe it. It's like asking a child to, to explain things. It's like they don't quite have the right words. Well, it's like somebody explain. said, I never got served my food at blah. But they got served like an appetizer and they got their dessert. They just But didn't, they didn't get their main meal. Yeah. But they said I never got served. It's, it's like, like, well, it's not You did true. get served. <laughs> you just missed a meal. You just missed part, part, of, your part meal. of it. Ah! So All right. How'd you do? Nineteen? Nineteen. I think I got higher last time actually. Oh, yeah. oh, that's okay, yeah. 19, I do like oh, that no. little um That is your high score. Oh, okay. I thought it was nineteen seven. But um but very simple mm -hmm. type of game. Oh yeah, it's cute though. Cute, fun. The um the main character is pretty cute too, like a little gnomey guy. So they are fairly slow at the beginning. So you kind of have to get them all grouped mm -hmm. to begin with, then do your tour of the garden. Oh, you touched me a little bit. Mm -hmm. It doesn't take much. You, you go down pretty fast. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. I was just thinking the other day about when I actually start doing my next film. <laughs> uh, Carl G, the wasps are cute too, except for the fact they are actually bees. Yeah. That is actually true. Oh. Oh, there's a cat showdown going on. Ah, he was guarding my exit. Oh, angry cats. Yeah. Pixels having none of it. <laughs> none of it. So I'm still... So with, with the upgrade to the retro tank... Oh Do you gosh. get more points for gathering the flowers or, or actually the mushrooms quicker? I don't know. You get... No, you just get 100 for each one. So I think you can take as much time as you need. So really, there's no rush in no that rush. sense. You can wander around. If you can dodge them and corral them. There's no time limit. There's no point. You just don't want to lose use life. Yeah. yeah. Very, very, very I like the way their little wings game. flutter. Yeah, I do too. Very, very fast. Very, very nice little animation. Yeah. Um, so when I put in the retro tank, it doesn't solve the one issue that I still... Mm -hmm. and it's still driving me crazy mm -hmm. with the setup here is the um, capture devices that I have are not perfect. Mm. They do not capture every frame. Oh, is it because of weird um, frame rates? I thought at so at first, but I don't think that's it mm. because when you see it on the television, like the thing we're watching, you don't see the any problems. Issue. No. Any issue ever. It yeah. captures every frame. Super perfect. Like I'm talking about 2600 when, when they use the special interlacing modes yeah. and they flicker for spelling words out or do special things in the game. Looks perfect on, on this TV. Um, but when it's captured and it goes to the computer, I can see on the computer and play it back from a recording that it's missing frames. Not missing frames, it's duplicating frames. Mm. Which may be missing them and then just going, well, I'm just going to show you the last one because I didn't get one again. Um, which results in kind of a very momentary, frozen, flickery mess mm -hmm. um, that looks terrible. And I, I can play it frame by frame. And it's... And it's like, yep, it's duplicating that frame. Mm -hmm. It it does, let's say, frame one. Yeah. Then it misses frame two. So oh. it does frame one again. Oh, it does one, one, but three then it, kind of thing? No. No? No. no there's, it's, let's do a 30 hertz example um, where there's two different frames and it goes back and forth. Okay. Oh, God. Um, <laughs> over here, bees. Or wasps, actually. Um, so it does frame one. Then it doesn't get frame two. So it does displays frame one again. And then it goes back to frame one because it's frame one's turn again, right? 
So it displays three frames of frame one, mm. which is very, very noticeable when it's only supposed to be one frame. Um, but... <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that's what happens when you try to distract a tar cat. Yep. Yeah. He is going for the cord. Yeah, no, you gotta, you gotta distract him. Real Atari 2600, dude, ass. Do you have wasps in Canada? Oh, oh my, yeah. yes, we do. Hey. And they make beautifully dramatic um, paper wasps nests. Yeah, usually nice. in homes and um, not in homes, but well, sometimes the in. side of homes. On the side of homes. Usually under, under the we eaves. We have quite a few. Well, I don't know. Do you, do you get a lot out in BC? I yeah. know in Ontario oh, yeah. we had tons, oh, yeah. Lots. tons of them. Lots. Yeah. But you usually have to have like fruit trees or. Yeah, yeah. Like, you don't see them in the city too much, mostly in the no, country. No, in the country or sort of in the more semi rural ah. areas and yep. that kind of thing. Uh, but, can you adjust any sort of buffering to help with that capture trouble nostal nostalgic? Has? I have tried everything, <laughs> every setting. It's just. It, I, Weird, yeah. I don't know. It's not meant. Like on every single system. You wouldn't notice it because mm. most systems, except for some eight, other 8 bits where they have to do some flicker because they don't have enough um, sprites like the NES sometimes uses flicker. Mm. Not very much when there's too many things on the screen. But uh, homebrews use the flicker quite a bit. Okay, beat your score. So That's all you cared now about? Care. <laughs> Aww. It does it's, keep. It just. Go it forever. just keeps going. I, I don't think it gets harder. Do you find it get? I don't think it gets it's, harder. It's just the same it caps, thing. It caps out pretty quick. Really quick, yeah. Yeah. But very cute, and and it's very cute. The little the little characters are very cute, and the background's very cute. It almost it needs a little bit. It needs something. To, for the increasing levels to yeah. make it harder, but other something than that, flying it's actually by works across pretty the well. screen or down the screen, or or they get faster, or they have different. They're movements. more sporadic. They pause and stop and start, so you yep. can't corral them as well. Or I don't know, but uh, no, the fires are bad. The fires are very bad. They're still very bad because yeah. we have had no rain. And for there's weeks. another there's another heat warning coming. Oh my God! It's already hot. Uh, it is already hot. It's warm in here. It's about 27 in this room, which could be worse. I mean, it's been hotter, um, but at my workplace, they were saying, you know, they were actually warning us to keep to keep our HVAC systems not going crazy, to close all our blinds and like turn off lights and things so that that it stays cooler indoors, which I've never heard them do before. So, uh -huh. um, yep. yeah, kind of crazy. But uh, yeah, we're gonna have another uh, a smaller heat wave. I don't yeah, think what it was before. Yeah, we may have to go off the air again. I, I hope not. I hope I, I think it's just for a few days. But um, yeah, well we'll we'll see how oh, it goes. Oh wow, this looks very. Uh, is this very similar to Pluto? Uh, it's made by the same company. Okay. Um, like originally when seventy eight hundreds were out, mm. so they were set to release the game, mm. but they just never released it. Carl G says poison mushrooms that you you need to avoid. That would be yes. very cool. Yes. And you just have a couple of green ones or something where it's like you can't touch them or you lose health. A time limit as well. Time limit and and a short uh, shorter shorter ever, time ever limit. ever shorter. Yeah. The poison mushrooms. That any of would have those. Changed any of everything. those would work. Yeah. 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 Um, so this was uh, put out by t not put out by Time so Time mm. Soft, as well as uh, Pluto's, mm. and then it was. It's the exact same story as, as Pluto's. They were rescued in 2008. The code was found. They were fixed by mm -hmm. a bunch of homebrew developers mm -hmm. um, and uh, friends. Uh, so this is an original 7800 game? Yes, it's it is. It's not a homebrew. It was rescued by homebrew. Oh, it was? Oh, okay, sorry. But it wasn't made by homebrew. I thought you you meant Pluto was rescued and this one wasn't. No, but... both exactly the same. Oh, Came from I the see. same company, same era. What are yep. you doing? You here to get all warm? Oh, oh squeaky. I'm sorry for picking you up. Oh, he didn't like that at all. <laughs> oh, look at those ears. He's no, like, eh, eh, no, don't eh. touch me. It's warm in here. No, please. Um, I tried the XM version. Okay. Uh, the Pluto's worked fine, but this didn't, so I went back to the 2008 version of it. It plays, it plays exactly the same. Okay. Gotcha. Um, so I just go for it. It's brutal. Good luck. Difficulty um, hard. Oh, just... there's different difficulties. No, no, there's no changes. Easy! Oh, there's an oh, easy. Oh, thank goodness! I was playing it on hard. Well, that maybe this might actually like it was 
devastatingly brutal. Already. No, those took like three shots. Oh, get out of the rocks. You can't hit any rocks. Oh, things you need to tell me. I know. I, well, you just started. So, yeah, don't hit any rocks. Oh my god, this is going to be hard. Like, even the tiny ones, don't hit them. <laughs> it's brutal. Oh my. Um, so, Sirius is a horizontally oriented space shooter that plays along the same lines as Gradius and R Type. Uh, there are four different levels, each with its own unique theme and boss. Unlike its sister game, Plutos, Sirius is one player only. Oh my god. Uh, the difficulty level can be control controlled by the left switch, but it, all this really does is make a game, hard game harder. <laughs> Sirius offers two types of upgrade capsules, a remote ah. ship upgrade and a weapons upgrade. The remote ship upgrade is similar to the option from Gradius in that it is a little ship that follows you around and fires at enemies. Oh, you missed an upgrade back there. That's okay. I, 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 I'm, I'm now, now I'm very confused about which ship I'm controlling and which is the little oh. one. On hard mode, everything <gasps> took three oh my shots. God! Yeah, there's rocks. <gasps> um, the second type of upgrade increases the firepower of your weapons, which is desperately needed in this game. My suggestion would be just of try to avoid everything. You just killed your. I don't know how. I don't know how. I don't know. I. It, this is crazy. <laughs> this, these guys, I have no friggin' clue. Is there no sound in this game? There must be sound. How come? How come my shot is so crappy? It's like one two, one two. Like, is that all it is? Yeah, the shot. Can you hold it? Is there like? Yeah, you can hold it. Oh, it only shoots when, when something's Two been hit. Two at a hit. time. Oh my god, that's horrible. Yeah, old school. Oh, I don't like that at all. Old school space invaders type shooting. <laughs> there you go, nice weapon now. Oh my god, this is horrible. And you lost And it. I lost everything. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, unlike the other one, you lose everything when you die. I don't like that at all. No, it's terrible. It's brutal. Very brutal. There is sound. Yes, I have this on cart. Oh, what's going on? When you die, I'm going to play oh, with it. God. When, that, so when, you, when it's game over. Because we're not getting any sound. Oh. Okay, so don't start it up yet. Wow. Yeah, tiny pea shooters. I don't like that. <laughs> hmm. Let's try and That's reboot it. Odd. Yeah, it is odd. Oh my gosh, I bit the inside of my cheek I today. It up. Well, I Did bit you? it yesterday. There we go. Hooray! That's much more exciting. Bit it. I bought, bit it yesterday, bit it, bit and it then at lunch, at lunch, bit it again, and so like my cheek is all swollen on the inside, which is horrible. I know. The problem with biting your cheek is that it makes you more prone to bite your cheek. <laughs> right? Yeah. Because it's all swollen it and popped out. It gets all swollen and horrible. Oh. Basically use the same sound as Pluto's. Okay. This does feel brutal. Not much room to maneuver a tiny pea shooter to defend yourself with, yeah. And everything's firing at you and moving around. But it's gorgeous. It's really nice looking. It's not one of these games where you can just shoot and everything in your path will clear it, <laughs> will, will be cleared. No. You have to dodge it because you can't shoot it enough to actually clear it a lot of the time. Oh, well, this is much crazy. easier than hard. Yeah. Than hard mode. Oh my god. Yeah. Everything took like three shots. Oh. Every, yeah, exactly. It's like, yeah, you have to go through this area where there's a hundred things also going through this area. What? What? Mm -hmm. Oh, rocks. Tiny little rocks. Thanks. Oh, I'm supposed to shoot that. Oh. And I'm game over. 
The game over is beautiful though, with the colors <laughs> and the flashing lines. Gorgeous, gorgeous. The game needs an auto fire mode. Agreed. Well, it does. Does you it? You can hold it down, but what? you don't get many bullets. Yeah. That's the problem. You get two bullets that refresh when you come when you hit something. And all the enemies are shooting too, and they're tiny bullets. Tiny little bullets that look like rocks too. Oh, you can't shoot hey, them. You keep saying that you love um, these kinds of these kinds I do, of games. <laughs> but they have to be somewhat fair. Yeah, that's very yeah, They made very the nice. game overlook good because they knew you would be seeing it a lot, yeah. <laughs> yes. It looks really good though. Oh, it's Beautiful looking, looking game. Oh my... I was right in front of that, shooting, 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 and it didn't die. I just can't get the try shot. Because I didn't have all the upgrades. You can't shoot that guy because he's behind a rock. Mm -hmm. There's a tiny rock there. Oh my god. Pretty much you have to clear The upgrades a path. are good. Yeah. What what hit me? <laughs> ah, getting better. Mm -hmm. Good luck for us seeing level two. I can reset it if you want. Oh, you made it. You made it. Okay. Uh, level one. This level takes place in an asteroid field. Although this is the first level, the difficulty starts high and goes up from there. Make sure to watch out for the tiny bits of rock scattered around the level, as crashing into those are deadly. The boss of this level are two ships with lasers. Mm. I don't think we'll ever see level two. Uh, this level appears to take place in a futuristic looking space station. Watch out for the ground turrets and pathways that branch out in different directions. The boss of this level is a large stationary alien. Mm. It's similar to the appearance of the first boss from our type. Level three. This visually uninteresting level appears to take place in some kind of kind some kind Come of organic on. environment. Yeah, it is uneasy. Hard. Well, I'll show you hard. You can't even kill the enemies until you get all the upgrades. You pretty much have to avoid the enemies. Hey, you got try shot. Yay! How long will it last? How long? Because there's no shields in this game. Oh, doing awesome. Not really. And, oh, you got to keep it? You go down a level by the looks of it. Now, oh. I'm, now I'm back at Pea Shooter. But you got your extra ship. Oh, okay. Random upgrades give you just more, better shot, no matter what the upgrade is. Oh my god, you made it the furthest of all of us! Ow! <laughs> <laughs> And after dark, this uh, might last. Yeah, no. I don't even think we'd kidding. make it. Yeah, it would oh, it's last. It's a beautiful tomorrow. game, though. Yeah, this is one that definitely taxes the hands and the forearms. We were just like, ah! Well, <laughs> smacking just, it like a hammer. You just hold it down. No, no, no. It's way more fun to smack it as hard as you can. <laughs> that is the whole point of having a joystick controller <laughs> and clicky buttons, is so you can smack it hard. Smack it hard. Smack it hard. <laughs> That's the enjoyment of these games. Yeah. Causing yourself <laughs> repetitive stress injuries. That's how these games these games work. Just waiting for that class action lawsuit. I, they already had one. I'm sure oh, in the eighties. <laughs> for, sure Ni for Nintendo thumb. <laughs> Come on! Die! Oh my god! Oh, you're doing well. Yeah. 
hopefully we'll see you the boss get, you at least get, once. Yeah, you gotta get the uh, all the upgrades. That's kind of the key in yes. like trying to protect your, oh. your ship. Oh. oh, there we go. There. Die! Everything needs to die. Stop not dying. Get out of here. Some things are taking like five shots. Wow, this looks evil. <laughs> it's so evil. Yeah, the key is avoid. Oh, 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 oh! I made it to the boss. Oh my god! Boss it up, man. Definitely, it's 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 the 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 beacon at the tip that you have yeah. to hit. Very nice bosses. Yeah. Wow! Look at the animation. Pretty much, it's. Nice. Oh, I got one! Oh my god! Well, sea level. Oh my god! <laughs> you only needed one. Yeah, it didn't seem to kill. Maybe I hit it and it didn't dissolve. Oh, I see. It should have dissolved. From, from a corn. Yeah, 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 to yeah. To show yeah. you killed it and then pause and then go to the score. Uh -huh. I remember getting blisters from Activision Decathlon. Oh, Decathlon. Yeah, that's the worst. Get him. Get that shit. Get it. Get it. Get it. Oh, I'm my so God. Confused. Oh, there's upgrades, upgrades, and upgrades, and upgrades. I know. I just... It's so hard to figure out where you are on the screen sometimes, too. Look at Ooh. this narrow passageway. What is oh up with God. that? Kick some ass. Kick some ass. I hope I don't lose any of my weapons because I will just die immediately. What? I didn't get it. I guess I'm Maybe at full power. Maybe you're at full? Yeah. You definitely need full. Die! Oh my God. Seems they're taking like five shots to kill. Oh, that was close. Oh. oh, you had such an amazing run. Get all the stuff. And we have to just run under that because yeah. they're not dying. They're not dying easy, are they at oh all? Oh my god, they're not. Oof. Oof. <gasps> oh. oh, that was awesome. <sighs> yeah, the scar is still visible. Little known. CB Ooh. fact, crossbow fact. I had surgery on my right wrist when I was in fifth grade because of all my Atari game playing. Oh my goodness, really? I had to have my ganglion nerve removed. What? Which one is that? Well, it's just a nerve. The ganglion is just a nerve, but you had to have a nerve Wow. Removed? You have a video game injury. <laughs> that wow, is crazy. that's hardcore. That really is. Wow, I made it to level two. I cannot believe it. Look and at I you, still only made two. second place. <laughs> Kev. Whoever Kev is. Kev. Damn you, Kev. Who are the programmers for this? Oh Kevin Franklin. <laughs> the programmer. Can't believe I made it to level two. You ran right into the rock. I did. This is not going well. No. My advice to you avoid things. Yeah, it's all about, them. it's all about, yeah, yeah, that was terrible. <laughs> you have to kind of get back into the groove of it. Yes, it turned into a cyst and ruptured during sur surgery. Wow. Oh well, my that, god, that sounds the right time terrible. To rupture. At least it wasn't ruptured outside of surgery. Uh, as a result, they removed the entire nerve ending in the process. They also call, call it tennis <gasps> wrist. No. Is that... That's probably not related to the thing that... Oh, my God, how did you I don't die? know. Uh, related to the injury that you get when you're a baseball pitcher. And they have to remove something in their arm. I was just reading about that the other day. Really? I think some oh, baseball terrible. player had it removed. It's it's like a almost a guarantee that you're going to have this thing removed or this surgery. But it's, I think it's a different surgery. Get all the upgrades, oh avoid everything. Oh my god, everything. this is terrible. Doing even worse than before. <laughs> Tommy John surgery, yes, that's the thing. That's what it's called. Oh, right into the rock. It's not going well. No, right, yeah, no. What is happening? This is not going well. <laughs> Replace a tendon in your arm, yes. That's the other thing. Okay, let's see if I can... Rough, rough, rough. rough. Do as well? I don't think so. We'll see. My advice, make a path, go through the path. Push your way through. Get all the upgrades. Yeah. And once you've got this shot, then you can better. start being a little more cocky with 
Oh, nope. What just? No, you can't. Oh, I ran into a rock. Yep. And also strafing yeah, up and strafing down is good. Yeah, strafing actually seems to work really because well. Because then you put to work your extra ship. Yeah, you're right. Because otherwise, if you're both firing, yeah, it doesn't in one really line, work. You're right. I mean, unless they're all coming at you in one line. But. I've already wasted a life on it. It's useless. Oh my God! Go away! Second level is a bit more like navigatable. Yeah, it seems like you're just destroying this, things. This one, um, the rocks are like really hard in your to way. See. Really like in your way. Like that tiny one will kill you. Yeah. Right down there. Well, okay, I am better at it. Oh, we did pretty well last time. Just dodge their shots, I guess. Oh yeah. Which is not too bad. There's only three or four at a time. That one died, oh, actually. This yeah. One. Good job. Ooh, bonus! Very good. Thank mm -hmm. you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. All right, level two. And you get to keep your upgrades. Which thank is goodness. Awesome. I didn't like that about, what is it, Pluto? Yeah, that was a problem. It's like, oh, you lose all your upgrades. Oh, oh. no! Another guy. Oh my god, come on. Oh, oh my no. god. <laughs> oh no. Going again. Because <laughs> I lost a life stupidly, stupidly at the beginning. I ran into a rock or something. I don't know what I did. Ah! Uh. get him back. Yeah, there's plenty of upgrades all around the place, which is good. <gasps> Those are terrible. Those two guys there that you can't shoot, and they just shoot kind At of randomly. At you, you have to kind of dodge them. <gasps> oh. That was much terrible. Much terrible. Now do it again, Nostalgic Yeah. Says. Oh no, right into it. Rage reset. Yeah, just kill yourself. Feeling then. the urge to rage reset. <laughs> Sounds cool when you're against a rock shooter. Yeah. No, you can't shoot some things. Like, I'm firing all my bullets at it, and it still kills me. Yeah. They just require a lot of shot. Not doing my strafing, that was the problem. <gasps> right into what a rock. What happened? Right into a rock. At least the reset's very fast. Yeah, that is Getting really back nice. into a game, it was like, boom, you're playing again. Yeah, strafing nice. is the key. Oh, oh, no, but you have to watch the rocks. Uh, Play it on hard after this. Someone. Yes, that's right. Yeah, I was yeah. going to show hard. It's not good. It's a bad time. It's it, a very bad time. Is it the same time. level, though? Yeah, same level. Just you have to hit everything. A rock up like there. Three times. Yeah, you have to hit it three times as much. Can't believe this is easy. No. Yeah. This should have been much easier. This is like at least medium. Yeah. <laughs> This is not easy, easy level. Yeah, this is would be like normal. I yeah. Would say, if On anything. most games, yeah. Get right. going hard. Do it, do it, do it. Okay, so we're on hard mode. I don't know. Oh, it just starts. Wait to. Yeah, that looks like hard mode. I'm just gonna die. One second. You do flash for a bit. Ooh. Don't hit anything. So. Easy. Hard. Come on. There we go. So, you switch it. No, still not registering. Come on. Just give it a second. 
It'll say hard or easy at the screen. There you go. Hard, yeah. easy. There we go. Hey, kitty. 1989. 89. Copyright? Mm hmm. Hmm. This is Pixel. That says 1990, but that's Pixel an 89. Pixel is here to say okay. no. Okay, run hard mode. You cannot kill things. Don't bother. So you get all the upgrades. Like, wow. You basically have to let things run by. Pretty much. So you get all the upgrades. And then maybe you can kill things. Oh my gosh. Maybe. See anything dying? Yeah, these guys I die. I barely do. These guys die. Shoot. Nope. Can't get by those guys. You cannot predict where they're shooting. path through. Find the pattern. <laughs> shoot path through. Shoot path through the road. Uh, brutal. <laughs> At least late night videos. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're going back to easy and giving one more try. One more I shot. Need, to I need see a it. break. Okay. I'll take, take over. I need my, oh, is this hard? Nope. I need my nerve removed. Ow. <laughs> Cyst is forming. Sakes. Uh, we can't just stay in one place. No. Some of the ships shoot at you, some of them don't. Oh, oh this is just going badly. Uh, no, unfortunately it's not for sale anywhere right now. I don't know if Al puts games on 7800 cartridges or not? Oh. I only know 2600. It confuses me so much when I get the second ship. Like, I, I don't know which ship is mine. It's available for download on the Atari Age forums. Are you die? Yeah, you just die. No, it's no, um, so, if, so if you have a um, Dragonfly or Concerto cart, I can't guarantee it works on Concerto, but it should. Um, then you can download it and play it. Um, does anybody know that if Al makes custom 7800 games or not? Uh, Crespo says, CPU Riz Wiz made a run of these carts around the same time as the anniversary cart releases. Mm -hmm. Having their nerve removed made it so it wouldn't be a problem in the future at least. Oh, okay. So you can preemptively have your video game nerve removed. Your video game <laughs> nerve? Is that what it's called? No. <laughs> I dub it that. <laughs> Serious, for when Defender is way too easy. Yeah. I find Defender very hard. That game. Have you ever played Defender? I don't know. You like rescuing, like, there's spaceships around and the spaceships go and get your guys off the ground and take them into space. Then you have to shoot the ships and your guys fall. You have to catch them. They don't fall to the ground. And your ship moves so fast that it's hard to control. It's a cool, cool looking game and crazy, but um, oh, for fuck's sake. I definitely need a lot more practice before I can even be called competent in Defender. So I just never put in the time because it was just so hard. No. Uh, PMP was developing a Defender for the 1700. One of projects that were sidelined. Yeah. PMP has a lot of projects that he started. I just saw the other day someone came up in a thread, somehow linked, 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 that he was working on a battle zone for the 7800 that looked incredible. Like wireframe battle zone. Um, he just had a title screen, I think. He didn't, it didn't show off anything else. But it looked really, really nice. Really nice. Neil Bini said, I used to be really good at Defender in my youth. Not so much today. That's a good poll topic. I'm going to 
write that down. Are you better at games now? Or in the past? Or it's your, in your youth? In my youth. Don't answer it now. <laughs> I'm actually better at games now. Without a doubt in my youth. I mean, I put way more time into games when I was a kid. Well, maybe not. I play a lot of games now. <laughs> Tenny plays a lot of games now, too. So I don't know. But I played a lot of games when I was a kid. Like every waking moment. I wasn't homework or sleeping or school. And I wouldn't do much homework because I was able to do it very quickly. Oh, can you not shoot that guy? At least one of them? There. That's how you do it. You wait just for them to shoot. Damn it! Neo Mia, I played a lot of games growing up. <laughs> I think I was just better. Oh god damn it. I was better at reacting to to yeah. games like this. I don't know. I'm better now. Yeah? For sure. I don't know. My uh Battletoads days are behind me, I think. <laughs> Well, that's about putting in time. Yeah, and I'm I sure put if, in a lot of time I'm sure on that game. sure if you game. put just as much time in now as you did then, you'd be like, oh, okay, you do that, you do that. Yeah. That was very, very, very well. Point up battle zone. Now my time is more limited. I think that's kind of the main thing. Yeah. Is if I play a game, I'm playing a short game, not a long game. Right. So, uh... Oh, you can get them on the angle. Yes! Yeah, good job! So you have to have that... Oh, and you lost it. You have to have that power-up, basically, to get them. Yep. Oh, my oh God! No. Come on! Oh, no. Now I'm down to pea shooter Oh, no, pea shooter I'm a lot better at a These lot more variety of things. crazy, like, pulsating popcorns really block your path. <laughs> pulsating popcorns. They are pulsating popcorns. Oh, get the power-ups. Nice. Oh, yeah. I don't have a companionship, but... No, but that's okay. It's okay. You want that diagonal. Especially here. Jeez. Oh. Yeah, this yeah. you can get past it, and then... Boss time! And the bosses are pretty pretty straightforward. You just have to dodge their, their shots. Really? Yeah. Yep, don't pay attention to them. Just dodge the Just shots. Just dodge the shots, which is most most shooters. Do they even shoot at the bottom? You are idiots. They don't shoot at the bottom. Maybe you've gotten better at playing games because you've been playing on your show. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but... Oh, you killed him! Oh, look at him. There we go. Battle zone for the 7800. Yes, please. That's how you defeat the first boss is go to the bottom and shoot. Mm. Only works that when you have worked. the triple shot. Though. That worked. Yeah, the triple shot. That diagonal shot. Thank you. Thank you. Ah! Oh, Too so many things. Many, so many. Narrow spaces. Holy smokes! Better than random rocks everywhere. Crazy! It's crazy! It's so crazy! Damn it. Damn it, damn it! damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Oh, so good. I have gotten better because of playing on my show. Mm-hmm. Hundred mm. percent. Uh, I think we'll leave it there. Okay. Because my arm's getting sore. <laughs> That is the other side of Atari it. Atari wrist. But I did get sore, sore arms when I was a kid. Too, yeah, but so. probably not the sore arms you get as a middle-aged no. person. No. <laughs> Middle-aged? How dare you? <laughs> Still young. Hey, I, 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 I'm <laughs> firmly in that category, too. Are you? Declare yourself middle-aged? Oh, yeah. Okay. Quite happy to, actually. Yeah? Yeah, middle-aged is nice. middle-aged? Yeah. Uh, there's some other web page I was going to show you guys. No. Already talked about that. Oh, here's the birthday. 25th 7800 birthday pack. 
uh, that was released with the Wasp game. Mm. There's the front of it. Very nice. Ooh. European controller. Nice. And Wasp and Space Invaders VE. Oh, you guys mm. can't see it. That would help. There's a 25th birthday pack, 1984 to 2009. Your European controller. Oh, something, something game design book <laughs> there. <laughs> uh, I'm sure if you looked up Perry and Demaria, you could find out what, game, what uh, book that is. There it is, Wasp and Space Invaders VE. Oh, getting back to unfinished games. Estimators found the Battle Zone 7800. Oh, nice. Let's take a look at that. Thank you, S. Ramirez. I want to know, S. Ramirez, what your score is in uh, Sirius. <laughs> yeah. There they are. I bet you made it pretty far. Frenzy. Oh, tiny. Oh. A rating with three. Yay! Welcome. Welcome. The three people from Neon Dare. Yeah. <laughs> Neon Dare's channel. We're right at the end, but hey, welcome. We play... Atari 2600 and 7800 games, and a couple other Atari systems once in a while. So there's Battle Zone, which looked looks awesome, very wireframe. Oh wow! But uh, I they don't... tried to make it look like a Vectrix game, basically. <laughs> yeah, well, the original uh, arcade game as well. Yeah. You know? He says, "I hate not finishing things," so we should bring it back up with him. Oh. <laughs> and and tag him again in this, and uh... so he can get angry again yeah yeah not yeah. finishing his battles guilt zone. him guilt him into yeah. battle zone yeah uh i'd like to get either back. plutos or sirius really oh thank you for subscribing neon jara neon mm -hmm. neon dara neon dare neon dare neon dare there we go lovely hi there crossbow yes <laughs> ah, somebody knows somebody somebody uh so yeah i would i would love to have Battle Zone on the 7800. Oh, yeah. Was there two joysticks in the arcade for that? For Battle Zone? Or was it, it was a tank. It was oh, like a, I see. I see. I see. I can't remember. Cool. Yeah. Um, what other thing? Oh, that, this was. Mm. Here are the levels. So, level one we saw the asteroid field. Two tank joystick. So, that would be great for the. Um, the Ed Laden joystick. Oh, yeah. That so would work really forward, well. So, go forward, back. Speed up, Left, slow down, or right. whatever it is. Oh, yeah, speed oh, yeah. up, slow down. Yeah. With a periscope. Yeah. With a uh, periscope. And level two, which we saw. Oh, look at the boss. Oh, the boss. Very yeah, cool. we didn't quite make it there. Uh, not, about, not even third it's of the so way. So beautiful, though. This game looks yeah. great. Level three, Just, nice organic. We're not boss. nearly good enough. Well, we're going to have to play it and work on it and see if now we can actually I, make it. Now that I made it to level two, I feel confident I could possibly, possibly make it to further. the boss yeah. on level two. Yeah. 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 Once you, it's it's all about leveling up. You lose your leveling up, you're screwed. The yeah. pea shooter, pff, forget Useless. it. Yeah. You're dodging everything at that yeah. point. Uh, level yeah. four, kind of a brick castle-y kind of thing yeah. with the landscape, and a kind of a sunfish-looking boss. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sirius is an amazing feat of programming, and it measures up quite well against NES and SMS games. Oh God, mm -hmm. yeah. Like you barely would see a mm -mm. nes game that it, looks it, this it, good it feels like an nes game actually yeah, yeah. uh serious shows what the 7800 was capable of if properly, properly programmed programs. both of them oh yeah. my god yeah, yeah the only yeah. flaw with serious is the game is unforgivably difficult <laughs> on easy <laughs> on easy yeah. easy i yeah. mean there's easy and hard there's no medium but even nope. easy is hard yeah. It may prove too much of a challenge for but most of the season space jockeys. Oh, yeah, I can see most people just putting it down. Mm. After playing it for like a minute, they're like, this is crazy. Yeah, no slowdowns either. I, it was perfect. I feel, though, this is the kind of game that if you're up for the challenge, you would play it forever because it's frustrating. <sighs> yeah. You know, you want to keep pushing. If that continue, I'd be so happy. Oh, a continue would be so good, yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's a mystery why Sirius was never released. Tynesoft was a well-known developer of Atari 8-bit and ST games in the mm. UK, but was relatively unknown in the US. But it appears they were trying to break into the Atari 7800 market with Sirius and its sister game, Pluto's. Let me see. Uh, what Does anybody else know what Tynesoft made? Uh, what else they made? Let's see if I recognize any of them. Of Verdesin Pet. 
I've heard of that, but I haven't played it. Hmm. Bingo. It's probably just bingo. I <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't know those. Mousetrap, Super they converted cool. over for Mousetrap? C64. Nice. That's a very well-known game. Yeah, very. Winter Olympics for Epics. Oh. I'm guessing, or they ripped off the name. I mean, it's not like it's a trademark name. No, true. Olympics is uh, for Atari 8-bit, MSX, BBC. I played the C64 version. Very good. Uh, Who Dares Wins 2. I played that on the C64. Yeah. It's a running shooter. It's actually a really, really good game. Uh, Summer, Summer Olympiad, Winter Olympiad, uh, Circus Games. Uh, I think I played that. Superman Man of Steel, no. Nope. Buffalo Bills Rodeo Games, nope. Uh, Roller Coaster Rumble, no. Beverly Hills Cop, that got a game? That's not surprising, I guess. Let's see the game play. It couldn't have been very good. Uh, let's <laughs> see, Reception. <laughs> the game's plot bears absolutely no relation to the film storyline. Excellent. As per usual. Those are the best. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Commodore 64 game version was graphically and sonically weak Ami sonically weak mm. come on they have such good source material axel f come on yeah, you could, you could just but you could just play that through the whole a racing component a shooting component maybe solve a mystery find clues find pieces to things i don't know all in all, the game is okay, but the animation is far from smooth. You have problems yeah. reading the text because oh, it will no. sh shake too much. And the animation is very choppy. Nice. That's so good. Um, so that is it. I may have to pick up a C64. Yes, definitely. There's so many good games on the C64. Aftermarket cartridges that you can load uh, discs off of. Mm. So you don't need the floppy drive. You just need the C64. Um, the D train. Yeah, it's great. Just, all these joysticks work on it. Yeah. That's all you need. Is that it? <laughs> the D train. I think that's the whole game should be putting a banana in a tailpipe. That <laughs> that's should be the whole quest. concept for the game. You run around and put bananas in tailpipes the yep. whole the whole time. Boop, boop. You have to go collect the ba bananas. Collect the bananas. And put them in the right. Put tailpipe. them in the right tailpipes. <laughs> Probably would have done well. That would have been hilarious. Yep. Good call. <laughs> well, we didn't read the names at the top of the show. Oh, what? No. Always forget. Oh something. well, you can do it at the bottom. Yep. Uh, okay. So coming up, um, there are so many games that I'm beta testing that I wish were ready. They're so good. Yeah. Um, I don't think I have anything scheduled. I have a uh, scissors rock paper card game. That's one. I think it'll be a 2600 day next on Friday. Not rock, paper, scissors? It's called Scissors Rock Paper Card Game. I don't name them, I just play them. Uh, <laughs> I think there's a couple more I could dig up as well uh, for the Atari 2600. Um, it's summer, not much is being made here and there, not as much as like one fifth, I would say, of the production of the other time. James has all the wrongs. Yeah. They all just, the betas. They just push all the betas. Over That's here. right. What's well, fun testing them out yeah. and playing them on like actual hardware well, with Dragonfly. And eventually and... they do give you the permission to, to show them off. So that's Yeah, cool. to debut them on the show. Yeah. There's some good mm. games mm. coming up. Yeah. So good. Yeah. So good. That's exciting. Yeah, and I think yeah. there's a couple on their way in the mail to me, ones that have been released. Oh good. As well, so we can do some unboxing. Nice, nice, um, nice, nice. Oh boy. The neighborhood. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we will be back on Friday at the normal time. Uh, patch challenge? I haven't done one in a while, actually. That's yeah, a good after dolphin. dark. Yeah. Oh, I was going to bring out all the cartridges that I still have to do patch challenges on because there's not uh, much left, right? Okay. I can have a stack and then I can bring them all out and maybe we can do a random patch night people can suggest just pull one from the yeah either pull it random well that's dangerous uh, pull one randomly yeah or people can suggest and we'll have a random patch night hmm. maybe on friday it's good 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 suggestion that's actually a good suggestion do you yeah. have the actual cards for most of if i games? don't have the actual cards we can i can play the wrong yeah that's so, true that's as a backup true. stampede I've, I've got my stampede yeah patch. it was actually once you know the secret to Stampede, the patch is very simple. 
Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. And those patches are very cheap because everybody got them. <laughs> yeah. So kaboom. Oh, oh, forget it. No, God. not going to happen. <laughs> that's hard. That's so you know, that, hard, Kaboom. That, that is one I have to do. I got like close to 2,000 out of three, yeah. I think. Oh, my God. But that would yeah. be a fun. Uh, laser, laser blast, pressure cooker. Laser blast is one I have to get. It, a it is hour show. <laughs> it is tedious and long. It to is. get the full patch, I think it is about four hours. Oh, we've tried laser blast, haven't we? No. No. Never oh. even put it on the show. Did you? You got the patch for space show? Uh, nope. I haven't. That's one I have to get. Yeah. Uh, I've got pressure cooker. Desert bus. Desert bus. bus. Desert bus. <laughs> Nobody's made a desert bus. Uh, um, twenty six hundred game. No. Have they? That sounds oddly have. familiar. What was Desert Bus made for? It was made for the uh, Sega Genesis. Okay. By Dan Kitchen. Yeah, for for, for Penn, Penn and Teller. Teller. Yeah, yes. Yes, there, yes, there is a twenty six hundred. I do remember us mentioning that when you said that. We've never played it. I don't think. Well, I don't. Well, we're not going. Well, we'll play it, but we won't play it. Yeah. Um, let's see. Let's take a quick look if you actually. There we go. Someone's. Oh my, that's yeah. awesome. Okay. Yeah, we'll play it a bit. Maybe I'll schedule that for the next show, actually. At least show it off. So The ROM has never been released, someone said. Pitfall oh. 2? What? No, in television version that's why of the game 2. That's why we've never played Desert uh, Bus, because the ROM's never been released. For the next Stella Marathon, yeah. You uh, could just have a little C64 scream and, and it, someone playing it in the background, like we could swap up. Yes. Someone just could continually Take over. play. Take okay, over. who is playing Desert Bus now? Yeah. Give it but to Atari the cat. He can just like Desert Bus twenty six hundred. Just put a put a put a treat on the controller and he'll just keep going. <laughs> Who is it? Why wouldn't they release it? Urgh. Without further ado, is now coming to twenty six hundred. Uh want one please. Starfire as well. Oh god. Yeah, that's a hard one. Mm. It's within reach. Mm. Remember we were playing it over and over? Um, it was by Zype. Mm. It's a homebrew patch where it's okay. in space and there's like uh, TARDISes oh, and other spacecraft. Yeah. No, no, it was within hard. reach. It was within reach. Yeah. I feel like it was, but it was... It, yes, 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 yes. Make the controller a bell in your cover. Yeah. Ding. For, ding. Yeah, you just ding. need to put treats... Yep. And, uh, that yeah. would work. I s just said treats, and Atari's in the corner here looked up at me. He oh. was like, what? Anyway. What? Crackpots, too. I have to what? do crackpots as well. Treats? I, I have a big list. So, um, so thank you for tuning mm. in. Tontac David, he might let you have the ROM for the show. Yeah. But he's been pretty hardcore about not releasing yeah. it. Yeah. Well, Ooh. he might, if he Maybe. if he's willing to release a version just to show it off, then... Maybe. Yeah. Or he can send a cartridge to me, and then he doesn't have to worry about the wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if we do a marathon... It would be good for a marathon. It would be very good for a marathon. Because then we'd be properly playing it. Yeah. And we'd have to... Well, you'd have to How long up. is it? It's five hours? Can you six pause hours? pause it? No. Probably not, eh? No, no, no. That's the whole point. So you you'd have to save it. all the four-player games to I, the end of the night. Like, you'd have to start it immediately and get through it, and then... Uh, uh, I got my tire tracks. Yeah. And I got my uh, Daredevil patch already. Yep. Not physically, because I haven't done them yet. Yeah. Uh, a new game. Uh, we did a new game. Which was VHZC's game? No, well. Was that? Yes, that it's new? a new game, but we did an exclusive at the top of the show. Oh, about the... Um... Andrew Davies, When Hop something. <laughs> it's a very strange name game. Uh, it is called... When Hop the Search for Planet X. <laughs> and so if you missed that, go to the top of the show mm. when we're done. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's unbelievable. Mind blowing. Yeah. It it's, looks really good. It's yeah. it's similar but not similar. It's in the same vein as the turbo yeah. type of graphics. Full screen play field. But it's implemented very differently. Yeah. Trigger yeah. warning, there are vibrating balls in the game. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Many vibrating balls. Oh, my. <laughs> it has solid <laughs> rocker rocket booster, booster balls, balls on, on the ship. ship. <laughs> yeah. Circus Convoy, yeah, I do have to do that. Oh, is there? Um, there's a patch for that? Two patches, yeah. yeah so oh. I eventually get to that. We can, we can get that done. That sounds naughty. It is. It is. <laughs> it is, but it isn't. It is, it is an after dark game, for yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
Um, so thanks for tuning in, everybody. S. Ramirez, 2008. Charles yeah. Whelan. Uh, Casey's Gold. That's yeah. not it yet. Yeah. Uh, Crossbow 77. Neo Media. Yeah. D Train. Ground Trooper. Atari 2600 Dude. Mm. Uh, Crossbow. Dan AVC. Uh, Neon Dare. Yes, thanks for subscribing. Yes, and for very rating. Awesome. That was very awesome. Yep. Uh, nostalgic. Um, steps. Oh, oh. jumped in. Mm -hmm. Is it really easy? Yes. <laughs> Carl G. Yeah. Really on easy, yeah. not easy. Um, Metal Lunar. Might have said that. Mm -hmm. Splendid Nut, and everybody else who was lurking or I missed at the top of the show. Yes. So you have a good night, too, and uh, we will be back on Friday, same time, 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern, mm -hmm. with some more games. Yay! Um, probably 2600 next time, and probably an After Dark. Yes, okay. With a mystery patch. <gasps> Ooh. We won't know. Maybe yeah. we'll let you choose. Yeah! Maybe we'll randomly pick behind out of a mm -hmm. bucket. Mm-hmm. Something like that. Or do a poll. Or get a cat to pick. Yeah. Do and a poll a at the top of the show. Oh. Do a poll at the beginning. I have a poll, but we'll maybe no. we'll save that poll for the you next one. You can do one. two polls. Can't you do two oh, polls? Oh, yeah, I can do uh, a second poll yeah. for the after dark. That's right. Yeah. Do one poll for the beginning. And one, one, one poll, poll for, for after the dark. after dark, and then they can choose what to play. Oh, I should have one of the new 7800 BIOSes installed by then, too. Nice. Awesome crossbow. Excellent. You can report back how it worked. Uh... So we're done. Say goodbye to the cats. Yes. Say goodbye Jeez. to us. And uh, we will see you uh, on Friday. Yeah. Bye, everyone. Bye. Have a good night. Have a good night.